इस इमारत की नींव इतनी मजबूत है कि कोई राज आर्यन हाथों में वायलिन और चेहरे पे मुस्कान लिए यहां उसकी एक भी ईंट हिलाने के लिए कदम नहीं रख सकता I will in conversation with Mr Amitabh Bachchan or should I say Mr Narayan Shankar and for once he is going to be in the hot seat although unfortunately he's not going to be earning anything from us Mr Bachchan hi hi how are you good um the first question i'd like to ask you is that when you heard the role of Narayan Shankar is this strict disciplinarian opposing love a, you know a role that you never done before in your life a role that's very different from the image we have of amitabh bachchan a negative role so to speak till the end of the film so how did you or why did you accept a role which was so different and so unlike anything else you've done before well primarily because uh, i can't be expected to be doing romantic roles at this age and be singing songs and and, and chasing women that was one criteria the other of course is that uh, Thank God that there is some constancy in the kind of role that has been offered to me. Most roles uh, in Indian cinema have a problem with having some kind of uh, stability or a or a constant thought in their construction. I felt that Narayan Shankar was one such role where uh, there was uh, a very regular, constant feel about the character right from day one. This is how he is. Mm. This is how he behaves, and. Uh, I think it's a great boon to be offered something like this because it makes life for an actor a lot easier. You can design your movements, your speech, your your clothing, the way you're going to walk, the way you're going to sit. So for me this was a great opportunity when Adi came across and narrated this uh, script to me. So I felt uh, very excited and uh, obviously uh, the excitement has uh, now uh, moved on to film and I'm very happy with the results. you didn't find it a little um not awkward but uncomfortable that this man opposes love without actually having a rooting so there was that much more of a preparation that you had to do as an actor to convince the audience about the reasons why he's against love i think a point that um has um uh, often been uh, the subject of a lot of criticism after the release of the film has been uh the fact that why is narayan shankar like this and uh, uh maybe in days to come or years to come there may be a debate or a discussion in this but the fact of the matter is that when um adid narrated the script to me he did in fact tell me where narayan shankar was coming from but he also had the honesty to tell me that uh, it was not going to form a part of the film uh where narayan shankar was coming from was uh uh perhaps an episode where he realized the importance of love uh, uh and the fact that love causes pain and uh, pain causes weakness and therefore it needed to be avoided but i think to uh save time perhaps in the screenplay perhaps in the length of the film this was a factor that was avoided however it was to a large extent i feel covered in the in some of our speeches in some of the expressions that we had during the film uh, some of the lines that we spoke particularly in 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 moments where uh, there is confrontation between the character of uh, rajaryan and narayan shankar this factor does come out but in words only uh, the confrontation scenes between you and sharukh have also been a talking point of the film people have loved the confrontation scenes but as an actor uh sharukh had the lines he was throwing the challenge to you he had so to speak the author backed role mm-hmm. which you didn't because you were the negative side of uh love mm-hmm. as an actor how did it feel at that point in time and what did you do so that you still match him or overshadow him in certain scenes and yet maintain uh the stability as an actor and you know not lose anything at all during those scenes and moments I think actors by and large uh, act uh, they never come in front of a camera to defeat somebody or to get rid of somebody or to overpower somebody uh they cannot possibly do that unless and until their role demands so uh I think the roles are very well etched um Sharukh was going to have the role that he played and I was going to have the role that I played 
Um, it would be ridiculous to expect that uh, the leading man of the film would not be given the most important role to play. Shah Rukh is the leading man of the film and therefore must have uh, the last say and must have the best lines and the best clothes and of course the best women. But um, that apart, I think it's important to understand that uh, when you accept a role, these are some of the givens in life. And uh, if you're happy with that, uh, life goes on quite smoothly. Uh, confrontation scenes are essential for any kind of film or script. Um, not because you have um, um, uh, two actors portraying them. I think uh, when you construct a screenplay, um, these are some of the things that you need to put in to make the screenplay um, interesting enough to last for three hours. Otherwise, you know, life could have finished even in the very first few minutes. So this was the first time that you were on the receiving end because otherwise most of your life you've been the one who's been giving the lines, whether it's a Trishul where you come in the last scene and throw the hundi papers at Sanjeev Kumar right. or in Divar, you know, or in Shakti mm -hmm. with Adilab Kumar. There's always been Amitabh Bachchan who sells the lines and he's the one who delivers the lines and walks away with it, you know. And here was well, that's all you emanating on the other side of the table. Yeah, know? but that's all emanating mm -hmm. from the fact that if mm -hmm. You know, I was playing the leading man there. Yeah. And therefore, happily, I get all the best things to do in the film. Mm -hmm. um, this wasn't the case in, in Mahabhatin, and uh, which is fine because, as I said, you know, you can't possibly yeah. be playing. But do you think you had the more difficult role because uh, you didn't have the author backed role. So do you think Narayan Shankar's was a more of a challenging role? Uh, I, I never looked at it that way. I just felt that it was an interesting character to play. Um, and. Uh, I found it had a very, uh, very reasonable graph. Um, I felt that the graph kept rising all the time. Um, and uh, that's important for an actor. I think if your graph is going a little haywire, then you have need to worry. But uh, I felt that uh, Narayan Shankar was, uh, was very convinced right from the first frame as to what he was going to do. And even his, uh, his deliberation in the end when he submits even in his confession that, yes, he has lost, I think the whole philosophy of the film was being narrated. It's not so much a personal loss as a loss of a generation. What he says is that it's now time for the older generation to step back and let the younger generation rule, which is really a fact of life. And uh, at some point of time, we all have to go through this. Um, I went through it in the film. Um, I am going through this in my, uh, in my real life as well. You have. Uh, certain beliefs and thoughts which you've lived with when you were a youngster and as you grow older uh, you realize that you cannot possibly extend that thought uh, into the lives of your children or your grandchildren mm -hmm. and that uh, life has to change. So are you like Narayan Shankar in your real life? No, not at all. <laughs> I uh, would give a lot of space to love and uh, perhaps no space at all to hatred. <laughs>